in the morning and we're filming videos. I love being a crackhead. It's great. Hi everybody, Kenzie here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video for Jeffree Star's new um, Velour Liquid Lipstick Collection. It's the holiday collection. There's eight full lipsticks. Um, it's been a really long time actually since I've sat down and filmed a video. Um, but I really was excited about this. We have eight lipsticks. That's basically the norm for Jeffrey's um, holiday collections now is eight. So the unicorn, unicorn, if I can talk, is white. Um, if you've been around a long time, the first liquid lip collection was white. Um, just standard regular white. This is a little bit different. The actual lipsticks are full glitter. And then um, the glitter's kind of got like a green like, pinky reflect to it. The only thing, the only complaint I have about the packaging is just you can't really... I mean, they're all covered in glitter. Which, I mean, this was the holiday collection last year. But you could still see very clearly at the bottom what it was. This, it's very frosted. Um, you just can't really see the color very well. Um, it's just not a very clear representation of what the color is. I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest, uh, just because that is personally how I like to run my, um, lipsticks. FYI, here's the little thing that comes with it. But anyways, um, so a couple of these I actually have worn already. Some of them I have not. Um, I've actually worn half of these. No, I've only worn three. Um, but anyways, so I'll let you know which ones I have worn and give you kind of a little bit more of a rundown with them, I guess. Um, so the first shade we are going to try is Can't Relate, which is like the one nude of the collection. Also, if you're wondering, these don't have a scent to them. Sometimes Jeffrey puts scents in to the lipsticks, um, but these do not have a scent. really pretty color okay um I will obviously whoops I will obviously do some swatch comparisons just because I do have a lot of Jeffrey's lipsticks um so I can kind of compare what we have um to it now I feel like when I'm just looking at this right away it reminds me a lot of Christmas cookies Christmas cookies might be a little bit more pink toned but definitely I, I definitely get the Christmas cookies kind of vibe from that um but I think it's a little bit more on the nude side Maybe, possibly, it's, all I know is it's very, um, it's very beautiful. I do like the color a lot, um, and I will obviously insert some swatch comparisons for you guys, but I do, I do get a, it's a very classic Jeffrey nude, um, it's a very pretty color, it looks good with the makeup I'm wearing today. So this is, uh, the shade, uh, Can't Relate. Moving right along! Um, okay, so the next color, I'm not sure which color I'm gonna, I should do next, because it's metallic. Um, we're gonna go with the metallic because that's technically the next lightest shade, personally, and it's called Clout. So, um, this is a violet, I want to say violet, um, metallic. Oh, balls, holy crap. The pigment on this is really crazy. Um, but I think that's just definitely something about Jeffrey's metallics is that there, there's something about the formula of them. There's just something about the formula of his metallics that is just so smooth, so pigmented, so incredible. I absolutely adore them. One of my favorite lip colors by him is um, Candy Ass. It was from the 2000. And 17 summer collection literally one of my favorite colors on the entire planet. I adore it um, There's just really honestly something about his metallics. They're so so stunning um, Really really opaque This is a really really pretty color. I think if with paired like with the right eye look it is something that is definitely can be turned wearable for some people, this is something that a color for people that they wouldn't even, like, look at and they'd be like, yeah, no, never. So, yeah, I think it's really pretty. It's a great color. Um, this is Clout. 
The next color I'm going to go to is Scandal, which is actually a color that I wore. Um, it is a absolutely stunning kind of mauve color. Um, a little bit, I wouldn't call it like pastel. Um, I would say it's in the family of like virginity and dull parts kind of had a baby. That's kind of like the best way I can explain it if you're not familiar with Jeffrey's colors. That means nothing to you. Speaking. Okay, so this is Scandal and it has not dried down yet, but I think it's a really, really pretty color. Now, I can't tell for sure if this is the case, um, but I believe this has a little bit of glitters in it, but I felt like when I wore this the day that I did, the more I wore it, which this happens with a lot of Jeffree's um, lipsticks that do have the glitters in them, the more you wear it, the more you like push your lips together and like work it in, the glitters kind of come out more. That happens in Pumpkin Pie and Designer Blood, yeah, Designer Blood, which are both from Holiday uh, 2016. Um, so, yes, okay, yeah, when I just put my lips together like that, it pulls out pink, uh, reflect glitter, which also, that kind of did pull it off my lips a bit, but that's also because my lips are very dry right now, um, that has nothing to do with the lipstick, I had nothing, no problems with it when I did wear it, um, it wear really beautifully, and I really think this color is something that is kind of like, oh, I can keep it in my purse, throw it on whenever, whenever, I think it just kind of works overall very well um, and it would probably complement many skin tones which I always appreciate so that is um, scandal okay the next color I'm gonna do I don't really know we'll go we're gonna go with Jeffrey who which is the color in the tube and I'll kind of just show you what it looks like on the back of the box but it doesn't really I don't think those are always really good representation of what they look like so here's what it looks like in the tube um, and on the wand. So it's kind of like a really pretty, um, rosy pink, I want to say kind of pulls on the terracotta side. Um, it instantly reminds me of, um, Calabasas and also from the Manny MUA, which I don't even think they sell this anymore. I'm shook. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and apply this to my lips, which I'm... I think I wore this. This is a really bad swatch that I just did. But this is Jeffrey Hugh. I think I did wear this. I can't recall. I think this is an absolutely stunning color. One, again, that will work on a lot of different skin tones. The formula is really great. Um, really super duper opaque. Um, but that just kind of comes with the territory with Jeffrey's lipsticks. Um, yeah, it's a really, really beautiful color. Um, I really, really like this color. Uh, it really does remind me of Calabasas, and I promise you I'm going to add, um, that's candy, yes. Some comparison swatches, um, to that, because I do want to show you guys that, that, like, if there is differences, because sometimes you, like, look at it in tube and you're like, oh, that, like, instantly reminds me of something, but then when you kind of do it side by side, it's like, oh, that's totally different. Um, anyways, so, yeah, so this is, uh, Jeffrey who? Jeffrey who? Okay, next lipstick we're gonna go with is, hi, how are ya? Which, have, I have worn this lipstick, um, and, um, first off, in the tube, it, like, it comes off very, very pinky almost, um, you can kind of see it on the, the wand, but... Um, it does have flecks of red glitter in it, that's true. Um, I thought, when I first saw the swatch of it, I thought it was going to be a lot more red toned. Um, uh, but it pulls a lot pinker. <laughs> Such a bad swatch. Okay, um, so this is a uh, high. How are ya? Which is like a famous Jeffrey thing. It was the first uh, lipstick that he did preview from the collection. 
So this is hi, how are you in the picture? I don't know how well you guys can see that. Hold on. Um, very red, like very red to me. Like when I first saw that, I was like, and I showed my sister, she was like, oh, great. Another red glittery lip because he does not sell this anymore. He doesn't sell either of these anymore, but in his first holiday lip collection, he released Ho Ho Ho, which is a really great color. And then he also had a color called Rich Blood, which he doesn't sell anymore. And I think because the formula just wasn't that great, um, it's a little bit drying. Um, but as you can see, it just, it, it looks very red here and on my lips, it's very pink. Um, so Jeffrey used to sell a cover color, and I'm going to slaughter this name, Mashikist, I think is what it, how you say it? I don't know. I think that's how you say it. Anyways, um, I still have that color. It does not get sold anymore. This color reminds me of Mashikist. It has that, like, very pinky, deeper berry tone to it almost. Um... I don't see like the red um, in it as much, which it's fine. I don't mind that because I do feel like Jeffrey does have a lot of very strong red colors. But when I think of like a red lipstick, I don't think of this. So see, see to me, that's what this looks like on my lips. So I just feel like it definitely, it, it goes back to Mashikist. I don't know how to say that word, okay guys? I'm really sorry. This is, uh, hi, how are you? Um, I don't know which one. We're going to go with Karma next, which is, Jeffrey is actually kind of infamous for green lipsticks, surprisingly. Um, the first green lipstick he ever released was called Mistletoe. Um, and then he moved on to Dirty Money. And then we also have Crocodile Tears and Venus Flytrap. So we have like a good array of green lipsticks from Jeffrey. We don't have one like this. Dirty Money is kind of essentially what that name is. And this is like kind of like an army green color. Um, which I'm here for it. I'm I'm here for it. So let's give it a go here. Oh, okay. That makes my eyes look really blue actually. Hmm. Um, so I don't know if this is my lips or if this is the lipstick. I'm just having a little bit of a problem with it kind of wanting to stick to my lips. That totally might be my lips. Um, but this is Karma. This is actually a really pretty shade. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it when I first swept it on. But I think once you like really pair it with the right look, I think it would be something that would could be really beautiful. Obviously not an everyday color. That's just like a given. Um, but I do think it's very beautiful. So I like how, do you like that like around my lips right now? You can like see pink, it's really cute. Um, Karma is completely matte, um, no glitters, no anything. Um, so it is completely matte. Um, so you could also, all of Jeffree's lipsticks are eye safe, which is my favorite thing. Um, so you could use this as a liquid liner, which that's kind of, with some of the crazier colors by Jeffree, that is one of my favorite things to do with them is use them as liquid liners, but yeah, um, otherwise it's a really pretty shade. The The tone of it is just right, um, and it doesn't look, uh, like, gross on your lips, I guess, is the best kind of way to say it. I'm going to do, uh, the second metallic, which is You're Still on the Property, which apparently is a, a point, a ploy, a ploy? No, I don't know. It's a homage to, uh, Sean and Jeffrey's video where they were at Walmart. And they got in trouble for filming inside and then they went outside and some guy was like, you're still on the property. So that is the shade name and it is a absolutely gorgeous looking blue, like dark blue metallic lip. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, she pretty. Ooh, she real pretty. This is a stunning color. I'm really happy. I thought it was going to be like really, really bright, like blue velvet bright. Um, but this is like a, dare I say subtle blue. It pulls more navy, which I like, um, but it's not like a deep, dark, rich navy. Um, so I do like that it's not so like vibrant, bright, bright, bright ass blue. Well, I definitely think it'd be fun to wear that to like a Christmas party or like a New Year's Eve party because it's just fun. It's a fun lipstick. Or just wear it like whenever you want because like fuck it, it's blue lipstick. 
But anyways, so that is, um, you're still on the property. My top half of my lip doesn't actually want to take pigment anymore. Um, because it's not even letting, letting the foundation stick to it. So there's that. Good thing this is the last lipstick, because my lips are very mad at me right now. So this is the shade Triggered, which, um, is like a deep, 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 deep plum shade. Um, which is actually very different for Jeffrey. We haven't really gotten like a deep plum shade like that before. Um, and it does have a little bit of a glitter reflect in it. I believe it's gold. Um, so there really isn't anything comparable I can think of um, by Jeffrey like this. Mm. Okay, so we are, I really, really like this shade. This is, so this is called Triggered. Um, I know my sister wore it. Um, and she really liked it because, like, obviously, like I said, this is another one with a glitter reflect in it. So when you first put it on, you're probably going to be like, okay, where's the glitter? And then as you wear it, as your lips move, all that kind of good stuff is, you know, your lips come together. Once it dries down, it's going to, the glitter's going to come through more. If you don't want to, like, wait for it, you can activate the glitter a bit by just kind of tying. Yeah, so that is all eight Velour Liquid Lipstick Shades. Um... I think this is a really beautiful collection. Um, I think it definitely kind of, they stay in a more similar color family. Um, I think they're all really beautiful shades. I, I don't know if this is my favorite collection. Um, last year's holiday collection was just so awesome. I absolutely adore that. Um, but I think that this is a really, really great collection, especially if you're not into really, really crazy wild colors. Although you do have, like, we're still, you're still on the property in Karma. I think that there's still colors that are workable and are great, just fun things to have in your collection. Um, so the bundle does cost $105. Let's say you really like five of the lipsticks and you're like, oh, I really want these, but whatever. It makes so much more sense just to go ahead and buy the bundle because the bundle is 105 and to buy eight um, of the lipsticks uh, by themselves is I think 143 if I did my math correctly 144 sorry um so it just it does make more sense to just go ahead and buy the bundle um because you're basically getting some lipsticks for free it's at a discounted price um the bundle is still available and all of the liquid lipsticks are still available I did not buy the lip ammos just because I just, I didn't, um, but just so you know that they are, they are so all available. So yeah, alright, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, it has been such a long time since I have sat down and done a video, so I'm really excited I could do that. Um, the next video you guys can expect from me, which I'm actually probably going to film tomorrow, is a review, um, and kind of tutorial with the Alien palette. Which also will probably just be like a full tutorial on my face because I have not done, like sat down and done um, my full face of makeup in front of a camera in a really, really long time. And my routine is quite different, so um, I kind of want to show you guys that um, too, which will be fun. Say hi. Oh, hi. Are we sleepy? Yeah, Mama's waking you up, isn't she? Yeah, Fonz is really big now, guys. Last time you saw him, he was a baby, and now he's really big. He's a full-grown baby. Yeah, he's going to be two soon. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, though. Um, and go check out our Instagrams. They will be linked below, me and Fonzie's, because we both got Instagrams. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe, because I'm cool. And hopefully I'm going to get some more content out for you guys soon, because, yeah, I'm trying here, right? Right? We're trying, man. We are trying. We love him. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Can you say bye? Can you say bedtime? Can you say bedtime? Can you say bedtime?